Now let's get our function. So equals GPT in brackets. We're going to be using this as our question. Let's put a comma and now let's get this entire date range and close our bracket. Since we're going to be using this and spreading it across to answer all these questions at once, let's put these dollar signs here so we can just lock that data set. Let's hit enter and then drag this down and answer all the questions one by one. Look at that. Our personal assistant is answering all the questions that we had about our data set. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom GPT into Google Sheets to be your personal assistant. We'll be connecting Google Sheets into an open AI assistant using a custom script that I built out. I'll link a video somewhere here showing you how I prompted chat GPT to build that script from scratch. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want to learn more about it. But in this video, I'm going to give you all the resources that you need to go off and replicate this for yourself. So I'll be linking my GitHub repo in the description of this video. Okay, so let's take a look at how to set this up. So at a high level, this is what we wanna do. We have Google Sheets that we want somehow to communicate with an open AI assistant that we're hosting on a Replit server. So to do that, we're gonna be writing a Google app script, which is gonna be hosted on Google Sheets, and that's gonna be communicating with our Replit server. So I'm gonna show you my GitHub repo where we have the code for this. We'll be deploying it on Replit. And that GitHub repo also includes the script for this that will be deploying on Google Sheets. So this is my GitHub repo, and we're gonna be using this Google Sheets GPT. Let's open it up and click this green button and copy the URL. Over in Replit, let's create a new REPL. Let's go import from GitHub, from URL, paste in our URL, and now import from GitHub. So we're gonna bring that entire package from GitHub into Replit. Let's click confirm and close. And now you can see here that we have the readme file open. This is the script that we're gonna to need to deploy in the Google Apps script section. So let's go to our Google Sheets, click on extensions, apps script, click on files, create a new script and call this code.gs. Hit enter. Let's backspace this and just paste our function as we had it before. Okay, so we're going to need to insert our URL for the API endpoint, which is going to be our replet script. So some of the things we need to do here are go to our .env file and fill in our OpenAI key and assistant ID. So in our assistant ID, let's create a new assistant. Let's call this test and say you are and expert data analysis assistant you respond only with the answer okay let's copy this assistant id over in replit let's paste it in here and now let's get our api key so to create new secret key let's call it test Copy this and click done and then paste our API key here. Okay, so the replit script is set up. Let's hit run. And now we'll install this app onto our server. And over here we have a web view window. So this is gonna be our URL that we're gonna be using for our Google Apps script. So let's copy this and let's paste it in here. Now I'm not gonna be running through this uh, entire script. I'll link another video here where I plugged in this script or a similar script into VoiceFlow where I ran through the code in a little bit more details. So you can watch that video to get a more of an understanding of how this works. But at a high level, index.js is our main entry point for this app. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we need to append forward slash API onto our URL so that we can get into app.js where the main logic of our app is and then scroll down and then append forward slash chat onto the end of that url so that when we get our inbound payload we can just pass it directly into our logic so back in the script let's do forward slash api and then forward slash chat and now this google script is ready to go so one final thing we need to do is our function is called gpt so we need to just give it a run once so we can remove this my function name and replace it with GPT. So let's click run. Perfect, now we've replaced my function with GPT. So when we're in Google Sheets, we just use GPT to call this function. Okay, so over in Google Sheets, let's give this a run. Let's hit equals GPT. Now we've called our function 
and it's got two arguments. So let's go round bracket and open up parentheses and let's ask our question. So I just want to ask, what is the busiest month? Question mark, close the parentheses, put a comma, and now we put our range of cells. Let's close the parentheses. Let's hit enter. And now we're sending this across to our OpenAI assistant. So our response is July, which is this, and it's 345. So I actually get that is the busiest month. Over in Replit, if I just pick this up, you can see that we've got some logs. This is essentially one of the runs that we just did. We send the information into this script that communicated with our OpenAI assistant. So this is basically showing me that everything is running fine. Now let's customize our assistant a little bit. You're an expert data analysis assistant. You respond with, let's change this to with the answer as well as an observational statement. Okay, and now we're all done here. Let's go back into Google Sheets and let's do the exact same thing, but this time let's ask what is the uh, slowest period. So equals GPT, open up the bracket, parentheses. Let's ask our question, what is the slowest period, question mark, parentheses, comma, and now our date range again. Close the bracket and hit enter. The slowest period is January and February, both with a total of one. Perfect, so now you see we have a bit more of a conversational experience with our response. So let's do one more thing here. Let me just list out a bunch of questions. So what is the slowest period? What is the busiest period? When should I run a sale? Now let's get our function. So equals GPT in brackets. We're gonna be using this as our question. Let's put a comma and now let's get this entire date range and close our bracket. Since we're going to be using this and spreading it across to answer all these questions at once, let's put these dollar signs here so we can just lock that data set. Let's hit enter and then drag this down and answer all the questions one by one. Look at that. Our personal assistant is answering all the questions that we had about our data set. All right, guys, and that's a wrap. If you like this video, please subscribe to my page. Please drop a comment if there's anything else that you want to see. And good luck with your next automation. Okay, see ya.